Was it? Hey everybody, um, this is Dr. Steven. I'm here with Stephanie. We just uh, did uh, liposuction on her right leg right there, and this is for um, lipedema, mm -hmm. uh, which we suspect she has because of heaviness and other symptoms, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, Stephanie, you've been very active all your life, right? Uh, exercising, doing all this stuff? All the time. I spend my life in the gym. And your leg just didn't get smaller, huh? Nothing. All right. Nothing. It didn't change. And uh, Stephanie is visiting from halfway across the world. She is, you're from? Hong Kong, yes. So mm -hmm. Our first patient ever from Hong Kong, so yes. welcome here. And uh, you ready to see both sides done now? Yes. Okay, sit up and take a look. It's amazing. I, it's very emotional, actually. Oh my God. It kind of matches now. Because you said you want to get into more lifting yeah, or yeah, bodybuilding, right? Yeah, get into more bodybuilding. But yeah, you want to see those muscles and. You got some nice quads going on and some nice calf. I'd be quite happy to just do this. Maybe I don't need to go to the You gym don't? Now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Okay, forget the gym. No, forget the gym. You were there. Right down. Okay. Wow. Amazing. All right. You ready to show off those legs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah shorts and I mean, it gets pretty hot there in Hong Kong, huh? Very hot, yes. Just yeah. like Tampa. Just like Tampa, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> so you throw my jeans away. Yeah, you can like, yeah, wear them shorts and skirts and whatever. Show off the legs. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. Is, this is amazing. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Hey, Esperanza, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay. You've had lipedema diagnosed for a few years, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. A lot of pain and heaviness? Yes, I was having heaviness. My legs were feeling tired every, almost every day mm -hmm. in the afternoons. Okay. Okay, so um, Esperanza already had a full leg lipo, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, everything, top to bottom, one year ago, almost to the date, one year ago. That's correct. Under general anesthesia. Yes. Okay. And the doctor removed a lot of fat, right? About seven to eight liters? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And also got a lot of areas pretty complete, right? Yes. Okay, so my... but. You weren't happy because I were I was not happy because part of this disease is also the shame that we face every day, not mm -hmm. wanting to show or like like I haven't was a skirt sometimes I'm twenty years old pretty much. Mm -hmm. Or if I do, I do it because I'm away from my hometown. Yes. And so I went to get this surgery because I wanted to mm -hmm. ease my symptoms and also because I wanted to feel better about myself. But unfortunately, the results that I got from the surgery were not what I was expected. Okay. Some of the symptoms improved, and that's a good thing. But improved, uh, let, let's quantify that. A little, medium, or a lot? Medium. Medium, okay. Just medium, because I was okay. still having a lot of fat okay. on my ankles okay. and on my knees. And that's why I look for you, because okay. I was seeing a lot of the results that you do were more aesthetical and so you were addressing okay. both issues. Right, so um, what Esperanza is talking about, you know, what her goals were, that's 90% of the patients that come to me, you know, have the same goals. Get rid of symptoms, but also look better. No one wants to look worse. Yes. So anyways, um, so what we did, we just finished this side right here. And this side you can see is still pretty puffy. There's only half a liter of fluid in there, so that's it's not changing her shape too much. This is pretty close to what she was before. So anyways, you ready to take a look? Okay, Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh wait, before you even do that, uh -huh. tell us how, how was the whole process? This is, and for you guys out there, this is a redo. And usually redos are very stingy. I was telling Esperanza that it can be, mm -hmm. it could be pretty a pretty tough ride today. And, it turned out her it wasn't too much um, scar tissue, so... No, it wasn't painful. Mm -hmm. Probably the numbing part, it was a little uncomfortable, but after mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. I mean, okay. all the process went okay. okay. Don't touch anything uh, now, okay? Tell but, me what, but, but, but you, I can do. 
Oh, you look, you look now. <gasps> wow. Hiking. I'm a yeah. hiker for years. Yeah. And now it looks like I'm a hiker. <laughs> yeah, you have really nice, you have really nice muscle there. Wow. Wow. Now this looks like a young lady legs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> young lady. Yeah, because the ones that I had before, this, okay. is, this is amazing. Okay. We just uh, uh, turned off the video accidentally. So anyways, uh, we're doing liposuction for lipedema today. And we finished this side. And, and how did you like it? Love it. Love it. Got a little emotional? Yes. Okay. 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 So what we are doing is liposuction for lipedema, which uh, Christy has had for several years and has been, tell, can you tell them your, in your own words what it's been like you know, dealing with it? Just painful. I mean, you know, it's just constantly full and um, hard to walk, hard on my knees, and you know, um, a, bru a bruise easy, so yeah. I'm always bruised. So. You were using the word heavy, it's very heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Heavy, so heavy, yeah. It yeah. really is like I'm walking through any mud all the time. Okay. This, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, was crazy. Yeah. Wow, not bad. The numbing, the numbing just a little bit, and but manageable. Let's and, let's bring your knee a little bit yeah, apart. Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so you see how yeah, we have blended that up. So great. So mm -hmm. when we have a large amount to remove, mm -hmm. we have to uh, our our limit set by the state is four liters. So when we have a large amount to remove, we have to break it up. So mm -hmm. in um, Christy's case, the cabin ankles and the inner knee is what yeah. is going to be about four liters of fat. And then the upper thighs um, are going to have to be broken up into two different areas mm -hmm. too. And wow, go ahead and turn around. Either way. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Wow. Oh wow, that's awesome. And you see how? Can you see the knee? How it's been treated so that it's all tapering up. Yes. So cosmetically, you're going to be left uh, with a very nice looking leg even even without doing the upper part i know you want to do the upper part but yeah yeah but <laughs> but even before we do it you see how yes. it's it's nicely blended oh my gosh huge difference wow um and people always get caught up in how it looks but how does it feel feels light yeah move just move yeah. and then and think and then just tell me how it moves and how it feels it feels great it, i already felt lighter on the table a, yeah. a big difference like yes like a hundred percent Hundred percent difference. I mean, I just yeah. It's like, Does it bend easier? Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. It's it's so light. Light. That's all I can say. I can okay. Yeah, this one still feels heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hey, everybody out there, we finished both sides now. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> okay. You. You're welcome. You ready to stand up and take a look? Oh wow, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, they look great. Yeah. And the knees, look at the inner knees. Yes. Look at the inner knee piece. Yeah, they're yeah, perfect. Right. And the skin looks really good. So yeah. just to mention out there, you guys, we just changed the size of Christie's <laughs> upper calves by about half. Yeah. They're literally circumference, probably less, half or less than half. Is it one? Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye.